see. Oh, there's no maps. There's a hat. I've already got a hat. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. Let's put it on. Surprise how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. There's an old cabin here. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay then. Oh, she's not she's not talking. Who's Oh I can I can open it. Oh my god. Whoa! What happened here? It's like everything exploded. This is not good. Old trash cigarette box. Finder. And uh let's go downstairs. Oh, this place is creepy as hell. Destroyed old guitar. Drop it. Cigarette buds. Oh, what's in here? <laughs> Nothing at all. I'm so surprised. Hey, this was another... Was this another outpost? It's probably another outpost. Something bad happened. And it looks like everything exploded. Something really sketchy about this place. Kiss me the creeps. Maybe I can go here? No, I can't. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, let's stay on track. Let's go back to the wires and we're gonna follow the wires, find the electrical uh, problem. Hope that we're not gonna encounter any bears uh, because I have nothing against uh, protecting my against, myself against bears. I uh, have a walkie-talkie. I have a flashlight. I have a granola bar wrap that I uh, that I the the the, the bar I ate a, f a few a few hours ago. Actually, it was yesterday. And look at that. That's fine. Oh my God, these wires weren't so, run so far. There's a huge distance. I'm getting so fat and tired. Okay, that's fine. That's all right. Oh, what's that? Is that a leaf? Oh, there's a box there. Let's go check out the box over there. Hmm, how am I gonna get up? Do I do I have to go around? Looks like I have to go around to get up. Oh god, it's so hot in this heat. Beautiful day though. It's a little bit cloudy. A bit chilly in the morning, but it's it's warming up really fast. Let's see what we got. All right, let's update the map. Where is this? Cache, cache 303 and uh, Flora. What is in here? Board? Six feet under. Is that a book? Six feet under. <laughs> All right, don't eat that. Pine cones, pine cones, and pine cones. Oh, there's a letter, there's a letter. What does it say? Dave, hey, oh, uh, I got you, knight. I got you, oh, I got your note about uh, meeting to talk. And sorry, I didn't tra track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be uh, out near the canyon helping the grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know uh, how I could really help. But anyways, we're coworkers, you know. Amigos professional. If you read something, to, um, if you need someone to... Throw, throw, throw back the case, and, and go to uh, time traveling. Monzu guy, but I'm um, not great with the little, the little life stuff. The life stuff. Weird. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight. Yeah. No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but oh I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about oh. was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> okay, let's head up here. Oh, beer cans. Oh my god. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids.
Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Well, I hope they did. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. <laughs> mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Oh, you're so mean! Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Let's clean up. Let's clean this up. Right now I have uh, probably two dollars worth of, um, of beer cans. Yeah, I should find a convenience store and return them so I can get some money back. Well, that's, uh... Hey, that's... so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Go to hell. Yeah, oh, my God. The thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. How are we gonna? Then how, then how are we gonna find I, them? This place is huge. I will kick the butt. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. <laughs> Me too. Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um. <sighs> Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Well, so much about by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. So much for avoiding harassment. Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. C comms here. Um, let's see. Let's jump down here. Yeah, we gotta find out where these bastards, these bastards are. I'm really mad. I'm really pissed off. Jonesy Lake, Two Forks, Thoroughfare, Supply Drop, two miles away. Hmm. Let's go there. Let's go there just to, just to check out the supply drop. Maybe there's something useful. There is no sign of beer cans. There is no sign of the girls. Wow, it's so beautiful. This place makes me feel like a short person. Oh, what is this? Oh my God, there's a lot of things in here. Open. Let's see. Moss Peak, Two Fork, Spruce. There's nothing in here. There's absolutely nothing in here. Well, so much for the supply drop. Maybe I should not head over there. Let's go back. Let's go back. It's getting a little bit spooky. getting really weird we're finding a uh, empty empty supply drops empty cans there's no people around and there's just two crazy maniac girls cutting down telephone wires all right okay let's go head back and see what's going on they've met their match i'm gonna scare the shit out of them we're gonna we're gonna beat them no 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 physical no physical oh, oh what's that Hang your backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. It says well, Brian Goodwill. For for supplies. What you got in here? Whiskey. Oh my god, I took a picture of myself. Oh, these are much oh, better quality ropes. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. 
That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. <laughs> wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What? What do you mean? What, was he a fella you had a thing with? <laughs> mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, near Lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. I Their cannot get out of here. I do not understand why. Huh. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? How come I cannot get down here? Oh, I see, I see. My god, struggling like a like an idiot. Like an idiot. This is not even tall. Okay, fine. It's uh it's a lot. It's a lot taller than it looked. It's a lot taller than it looked. I'm uh I am happy you've made that decision. John Z Lake and Two Fork. Let's go ahead to back to our camp. We're gonna have to hatch a plan, find a way to scare the shit out of these two girls. And maybe they went back to get the radio. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, update the map, supply drop note. What's in here? Let's take a look. Guess who's going Q read? Guess who's uh, I'd, I'd rather read it from here. Dave! Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit here, Steve. It's your man, Ron. I wanted to check uh, the new guy at Two Fork and heard him talking to himself more than usual for... For what? So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock hemming himself in that hammock? Uh, I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perver perverted. Except for us, and of course, and we're the cream de la cream. Creme de la creme. Let's toast the Deb at the spot. Okay, let's, let's keep this note. A loose stone. What can I do with the loose stone? Let's put it back in here. Fossilized claw. Ooh, interesting. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. <laughs> All right, let's throw this out. Uh, looks like we have to go straight. Okay. Cannot go up there. There is no sign of those two girls. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. That's okay. I already uh, forgot about it. I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. What, I'm not allowed? She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, I don't need sure. a therapist. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I don't need a therapist. I have a, I have a typewriter. I, I write stuff out. Forest. I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. 
Okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Hmm. Yeah, they're drunk, and I feel like they're smarter than me. All right, uh, I'll look around, I'll look around. What's that? What's that sound? What's that sound? I heard that. Don't see anything. All right, let's keep going. 